So Gavin Newsom, he goes to, I guess it was the NFC championship game uh, at the stadium. I think it's the same stadium where the Super Bowl is going to be. And this is just last week. And he gets caught um, on camera without his mask on. And like in one of the pictures that was circulating, and I was like, oh, there's an indoor mask mandate in California. Thanks to you, Governor Gavin Newsom. You're the one who imposed it. And there you are inside with your mask off. That's that's not right. That's rules for thee and not for me. And you've done it before. French Laundry. You know, it was a big scandal. Um, this was the picture. That's Gavin Newsom and Magic Johnson. So people were mad and he was called up for his hypocrisy and he tried to handle it. With the following soundbite, listen. I was very judicious yesterday, uh, very judicious. And you'll see the photo that I did take um, where Magic was kind enough, generous enough to ask me for a photograph. And in my left hand's the mask and I took a photo. The uh, rest of the time I wore it, uh, as we all should. Um, not when I had a glass of water or thing. And I encourage everybody else to do so. And, uh, and that's it. Oh, my God, that, that has to go down in the annals of the most obvious lie ever. It's amazing. It's such an obvious lie. It's spectacular in every way. I love that so much. So Phil Houston, I have to have Phil Houston, the guy who authored Spy the Lie, and he was the CIA de- deception detection guy for 25 years. Uh, he literally wrote the book Spy the Lie. And he talks about how, so that placeholder, uh, the rest of the time I was wearing it, you know, not, not when I, I had a glass of water or, or the rest of it, uh, that's a liar. That's a liar who knows he may have been caught on camera not wearing the mask and he's trying to do a little cover, like an advanced cover. That's what liars do. If he actually had the mask on the whole time, he would have said the rest of the time I had it on, period. The nervous laughter, the the attempt to do too much detail. It was in my left hand, as you can see, like liar, liar, liar. And now we know he's a liar because the magic of cameras has brought us multiple images of him without the mask on. Okay, so the first one is... um, Hold on a second. Is it a picture, Debbie, or is it a is it a video? I can't remember. It's video of him going over to Magic Johnson without the mask on. Look, no mask, no mask, no mask. Okay, there it is. He did not have the mask on. It was not like he met Magic and then Magic said, "Take, let's take a picture. And then he took it off as he lied about yesterday. He lied. Okay, and then Clay Travis tweeted this out today. He, there he is sitting in the box. It looks like he's next to Tom Hanks. Look as they zoom in. Not only does he not wear his mask, Tom Hanks or whoever's next to him doesn't have it. And nobody in the box seems to have it. Look, nobody's got a mask. Look at him all smiles. The mask is off his face. Can we zoom in again? Can you play that again? I want the audience to see it again. People who are listening to this, watch it on YouTube later. later, You'll see. You're zooming, zooming, zooming. He's sitting in the box. No one in his box has their mask on. Nobody. It's off. Okay, maybe he considers that outside. I have no idea. But at this very same stadium, at the Super Bowl, they're mandating... KN95 masks for every single person in the stadium because that's what's safe. So who would like to take it from here? Because it's too fun. I mean, I didn't realize in this legislation, is there an asterisk for like uh, taking pictures? Yeah. We need to ask new If you're a star, right? To quote Trump, if you're a star, they let you do it and get away with it. (laughs) If you're approached by celebrities to take a picture, you can take the mask off. I didn't realize. I mean, he must be like the slowest learner ever because he's a, he's really learned this lesson the hard way at every turn in the road. He's such a liar. And and by the way, it wasn't just him. Uh, Los Angeles Mayor uh, Garcetti, he was there. Um, also maskless. I mean, on it goes, Emily. And yet they still want my kids to sit in school all day long. And more accurately, the kids of California. Look at him. Look at him. There is another picture. Um that's Garcetti, but it's sitting there all day long with masks on their faces inside. Yeah. And I mean, even in that game, like little kids who might have had great memories of that game are now going to have been masked up while Gavin Newsom and Eric Garcetti and London Breed were maskless in their luxury box. And I think to Eliana's point about Gavin Newsom, like it's it's inexplicable and sort of maddening in a sense after the French laundry situation that we are now here and it's happening again. But I just think it speaks to how utterly shameless he is. He knows that he's lying. He doesn't care that he's lying. He genuinely thinks he is better and that the sort of masses, the unwashed masses, they must be saddled with the burden of masks because they're the ones who can't be trusted to live their lives responsibly and hygienically. But Gavin Newsom, he can do it. He's the governor. So it's fine. And 
and my favorite thing about his um, non-apology and his statement was he was he was literally like, no, 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 no. The problem is not with Gavin Newsom. Gavin Newsom is actually very, very judicious. The judicious. problem, if anything, is that Gavin Newsom is too great. <laughs> yes, yes. It's so true. We, we have to hear it again. Can you guys play the Gavin Newsom soundbite number four again? I must have another relationship with it. I was very judicious yesterday, uh, very judicious. And you'll see the photo that I did take um, where Magic was kind enough, generous enough to ask me for a photograph. And in my left hand's the mask, and I took a photo. Uh, the rest of the time, I wore it, uh, as we all should. Uh, not when I had a glass of water or thing. And I encourage everybody else to do so. And, uh, and that's it. <laughs> I nailed it again. <laughs> Pretty sure he wasn't drinking water either. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> By God, Californians, take your masks off. Your leaders are mocking you. They think you're stupid. Stupid. This is outrageous. And by the way, how about that Super Bowl thing? Can you imagine paying all that money to go out to the Super Bowl? I mean, it's not cheap to get tickets for the Super Bowl. And it's a a dream come true for most people. And to be told, because at first it was like, we're going to give everybody a KN95 mask and we really hope you'll wear them. Now it's been made clear, you must wear them. They all have to wear the KN95s. KN95 mask. Your kids, Two years old, they have to have it on if they want to sit there in this, what I gather is an indoor slash outdoor stadium to watch the Super Bowl. It's insane. It's it's unthinkable. And it is that Gavin Newsom, it, he, you're right, Megan, he's mocking the people of California at this point who have made so many sacrifices. Kids, the sacrifices to kids learning, um, not just the discomfort of wearing it in school, but the actual like demonstrable effect that being masked in a school contributes to people's learning, especially at younger ages. It's insane. I mean, it, it's completely beyond. I mean, it is Marie Antoinette. It's all of that. And yet there seems to be absolutely no talking sense into Gavin Newsom because of the utter shamelessness. He mm-hmm. doesn't care. And if this was so important and if COVID was so dangerous, he would be wearing a mask, of course, because if Gavin Newsom is anything, it is self-interested. Um, mm-hmm. And we know that that's not the case because we can see it. I, I, if I were, if I had a kid in a California school right now, Eliana, I'd say, here is a bottle of water. I want you to walk around with this water all day and your mask off. And as soon as you get in trouble, you can tell your teacher or whoever bothers you. No, no, I'm very judicious. You know, I always have my mask on just, you know, just when I have a little water and all that. Yeah, I, I like your style, Megan. And uh, Newsom's co- comment was amazing when he said, "I like magic was kind enough to to essentially <laughs> recognize my greatness and ask me for a photograph." Uh, just amazing. So gross. I'm so over him. 